Hello, this is Jason Keller with TTR. Today I'm going to demonstrate quickly how we can create a basic leave request uh, in SharePoint 2010 using Nintix Workflow 2010. To get started, we have a list here. This is just a simple list in SharePoint. And uh, basically we have title, leave request, uh, leave type, start date, end date, description. And then you can see we already have a workflow running on this list and it adds it here to um, my columns. So to get started, we'll just flip over to our list here and we'll go to workflow settings with Nintex workflow we get these additional bottom items here uh, these come uh, beyond or extended beyond what you get out of the box which would be the top four items so we'll go ahead and just click create a workflow using Nintex workflow what this will do is bring up a little wizard. The wizard will allow you to select uh, basically a blank or several other templates. If you're familiar with uh, SharePoint 2010, you get uh, five out of the box uh, templates, which are very much not business process oriented. Uh, they're around essentially collecting signatures, approval, record disposition. So as you can see here in Nintex, you actually have uh, quite a few other options. You have some business process management and finance, HR, operations, project management, sales and marketing. So we'll actually just start blank for this demo. We'll hit create. So over here on our designer canvas, we have nothing. Over here on the left-hand side, we have all our workflow actions. So for this demo, we'll just go ahead and start by using the send notification. We'll just drag that over here and drop it. And uh, what we'll do is when somebody submits a request to this list, we'll basically just send them a confirmation message and we'll do that using the OCS features uh, with the integration with Nintex Workflow and uh, OCS. So let's go ahead and do that. Notice I am just editing the, the title of this workflow action just so it makes it easy uh, later for me to identify what's happening. So go ahead and configure this item real quick. In the to section, we'll actually go ahead and browse. Uh, from here, you actually have the option to send it to a person or group uh, in your Active Directory. Uh, you can send it to an external email address as well as a lookup. We'll use the lookup here, and there is a field that is a, a common field called initiator. So this field is a dynamic value that essentially is the person that initiates this workflow. Uh, when we're finished with this workflow, it will run automatically on new items being created on this list. So the person initiating it would be the person requesting leave. So we'll go ahead and add that person. Hit OK. OK, in the subject line, we'll go ahead and build out uh, a subject as well. We can actually use item properties. So in this case, we have that leave type column. So we'll go ahead and say leave type, leave request received. We'll hit OK. All right, at this point, I'm just going to set this to plain text, and then we'll use IM to new, do the notification. If you wanted to go ahead and do this in email, we can just go ahead in, in this area here and just type in the body of an email message. But for this demo, we're actually going to integrate using OCS. So we'll hit save. Next thing we want to do is assign this task to the initiator's manager to have them review and approve or decline it. So we'll just go ahead and drag the assign flexi task so this will assign a task to the manager so we'll say ask manager and again we'll configure this item now it's important to note that each one of these workflow actions has its own different configuration value. So depending on if you're doing a notification or assigning a task or doing uh, like a loop or something like that, each one of these workflow actions has a different configuration. In this case, it asks for uh, an assignee. So we're going to use our lookup values again, and we're going to use a dynamic value called manager. So manager will go ahead and look at this particular user's uh, manager field in Active Directory and assign it to them dynamically. So that's great. We have outcomes here. We have approve and reject. We can go ahead and either edit these or we can add an additional one. Uh, one that you might want to add is maybe like ask peers or something like that. So you can go ahead and add in as many outcomes as you like. We'll just stick with the basic ones right now, approve and reject. That's all we need to do for this workflow action. Uh, note across the top is that you actually have test notifications. So this would be the email that's sent out to the manager. You can customize that. Not required notification would be if uh, this 
was being sent to a group of people and you just needed the first person to respond. Um, in that case, you'd want to send a secondary message to all the other people and let them know that they're no longer needed to uh, respond to that task. We have uh, reminders here. So you can go in and set reminders on the number of reminders, days, hours, minutes, during business hours, etc. Also escalate this. So what type of escalation would you want? Do you want to delegate it or complete this after a certain period of time if nobody's answered? So those are all the features that are available with this uh, this item right now. So we'll just go ahead and hit save. So we have ask a manager. Very easy, pretty much done there. So next thing we'll need to do is uh, we have a team calendar on the site. And if somebody approves the workflow, we'd like to add this to the team calendar. I'm going to just do use the search feature here and type in item. The item that I want to use or the workflow action is create item. I'll just drag and drop that here on my canvas. And we'll say update her team calendar. All right. And we'll just configure this. So this uh, workflow action will ask us items such as um, which item would you like to create in? So it looks at the list and libraries on this site. We have uh, several. The one that we want to work with, though, is the leave calendar. So we'll select that. The content type is an event. Uh, then under title, start time, end time, we dynamically want to take values from our list. So we'll just go ahead and select list lookup. And we'll just do this for all of them real quick. Now the first field is title and it says list lookup current item. So that'd be the item that we're working with in the workflow and the field being title. So that works out great for us. Uh, the start time, we'll just change that title field to be start date and then the end time to end date. That's it. Save it. Last thing that we want to do is just send a confirmation message uh, letting the person know that it has been approved or declined. I'm pretty lazy. I like to copy and paste things. So we'll just go ahead and copy our confirmation message and paste it under here for our rejection. Just modify this real quick. Instead of being received, I'll just say declined. Hit save. And we'll go ahead and paste it here as well. Configure this real quick. Approved. Save that. Approve a message. And then over here, we'll just say decline. One thing that I want to do too is enable something called lazy approval. So if I go to ask manager this task, let's just go configure this again real quick. There's an item here called lazy approval, and then there's another one called delegation. Delegation, if this is checkmarked, will allow this manager to delegate this task to somebody else. If we also checkmark lazy approval here, this will allow for uh, essentially somebody to respond to the email message and not even have to interact with SharePoint whatsoever. They can just respond to it, say yes, no, approve, decline. Um, these messages uh, can be tailored to your environment, so the outcome, um, can be tailored as an example if you want it to say good to go as being an approval you can go ahead and add that phrase in and anytime somebody responds with good to go it will get approved so those are purely customizable all right so we have our basic workflow built next thing we want to do is just edit the workflow settings so we'll go to workflow settings and hit workflow settings and we'll name this leave request. Then we have several different options here. One option that I want to do is start when items are created. We'll select that to yes. So that means anytime a new item is added to this list, this workflow will run automatically. There's also another one called enable verbose logging. We'll go ahead and check mark that as well. Uh, what that will do is basically create a really detailed XML file of the workflow. Uh, this is very useful if you're building a very complex workflow and you don't get it right the first time, which happens to the best of us. So what this will allow us to do is be able to troubleshoot and debug the workflow um, very easily. Go ahead and hit save. All right, so our workflow is complete. All we have to do now is publish it so we can use it. So we'll go ahead and hit publish. 
go ahead and leave requests. We can put a description if we want, any change comments, and we'll hit submit. So this workflow will be publishing. The next thing we'll do is actually go in and run this workflow so that you can see how it actually works. Okay, our workflow has been published, so we'll hit OK. And we can go ahead and close our designer. We're back at our list. So let's just go ahead and add a new item. And we'll just call this JSON on leave. We'll say it's annual leave, and we'll say it starts today, and it goes through Friday. And we'll say in Vegas. We'll save that. All right, now you can see my item is here on my list and it is currently running. So we can look at our contextual menu here, view our workflow history. And you'll see our running workflow. We can go ahead and click on this and it'll actually show you the status of the workflow. So the first part of the workflow is it's actually sending a message through IM. So as you can see here, we have an annual leave request received. Great. So if we refresh the screen here, we'll see that it has now moved to the Ask Manager. I have this manager's um, desktop open here in another terminal window. Notice we have an email message, so we'll just go ahead and click on that. And you'll see that we have um, the workflow here. So it says JSON on leave. Uh, click here to respond to the task. This will allow you to actually open up in uh, SharePoint. So go ahead and click on that. And from here, you can go ahead and um, approve or decline the request as well as um, delegate it to another person. So approve, reject, or delegate it. And you can see all the other information about the, the list here in this window. We'll actually hit cancel here. We'll close that because I want to show you guys how to use uh, lazy approval. So at the bottom of our email message, it did say that lazy approval is enabled, reply with a valid outcome. So we'll just reply with yes and hit send. What this will do is send a message to a library in SharePoint and email the enabled library. There's another secondary workflow that runs from Nintex that looks at this library, compares it to open workflow actions, and then we'll complete the workflow in accordance with your outcome message. So we'll go ahead and minimize this and look back at our leave request. All right, so we should be getting a message in uh, OCS here in a second. And when that happens, it should go ahead and update the leave calendar as well. So the next time we refresh the screen, we'll go ahead and see an appointment from uh, Tuesday the 3rd through Friday the 6th. All right, so my annual leave request has been approved. So we'll just go ahead and refresh the screen here. And you can see that uh, my leave request has been added here. If we look at this workflow now in detail, we can view the workflow history. You'll see we have a completed workflow. And you can see the exact route that it went. So that's how you create a basic workflow in Nintex Workflow 2010, uh, integration with uh, OCS, as well as adding items to a, a list or library. So in this case, we up uploaded uh, a value to our team calendar, and then we sent messages with OCS. Thank you very much, and have a great day.